Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways of renaming multiple files all in one go in Windows. So I have a folder here with some files in it, and these files are output from a computer model showing the sources of air at a location in Taiwan, but I'm just using them as an example. And the first thing I'm going to do is to hold down shift and then right click and select open PowerShell window here. And this opens the Windows PowerShell. And then in, in here, I'm going to type DIR and this stands for directory. And basically what this is telling it is to list all of the files in this folder. Then I'm going to select the pipe symbol and this is the pipe symbol is in different places on different keyboards. But what the pipe symbol tells it to do is to take all of the files listed in this folder and then pipe it into something else. And that something else is going to be rename dash item dash new name. So what this is saying at the moment is to take all of the files in this folder and to rename them and to give them a new name. Then I am going to type curly brackets and then the dollar sign underscore dot name. And this is basically telling it to use all of the names of all the files in this folder. And then I'm going to type dash replace. So I'm going to replace something in all of the names of the files in this folder. And then I am going to type quotation marks and then type one and then close quotation marks, comma, and then open quotation marks, TW, close quotation marks, and then close the brackets. And what this is telling it to do is to take all of the files in this folder, and then for any of them that have the word Taiwan in it, to replace that with TW. So when I press enter, that is what should happen. And now you can see all of the files have been renamed with a TW. Now, if I press the up arrow in Windows PowerShell, it will show me the piece of code that I just typed. And I am going to edit this to show another example. So say if I wanted to get rid of all of these spaces in a file name and replace them with dashes, I would do this by putting inside quotation marks a space and then here I would put a dash and this will replace all of these spaces in my file names with dashes and if I press enter you can see that that has now happened there are now dashes here between the TW and the numbers where there used to be a space there are lots of computer programs that can only work with files that don't have spaces in them so this is something that people commonly want to be able to do. Now, the next example I'm going to show is a way of removing something from a file name. And the easiest way of doing this is just to use the replace feature, but to replace it with nothing. So I'm going to type TW dash in here. And then in this set of quotation marks, I'm just going to leave nothing in between them. And as I am replacing the TW dash with nothing, that is the same as removing it. So when I press enter, the TW dash just disappears. Now, the next example that I'm going to show is how to add something to the beginning of a file name. And I'm going to delete all of this because I don't need it. And then here I'm going to add in quotation marks Taiwan, and then a dash, and then close quotation marks, and then a space, and then add, and then another space. So what this is now telling it to do is to add Taiwan to the beginning of every single file name. Now, if I ran it at the moment, what it would do is it would add Taiwan to every single file name, 
but then it would do it again and again and it would scroll through the files over and over again until it had added multiple Taiwans to every single file name. In order to stop it from doing that I need to add something in here. I need to add a dash exclude and then in quotation marks Taiwan dash and then a star and then close quotation marks. And the star is a wild card and it can represent anything. So what this is now saying is to list all of the files in this folder, excluding the ones that begin with Taiwan. Now, if I run this by pressing enter, it should work properly. And you can see it's now added Taiwan to all of my file names. Now, the next example I'm going to show is how to add something to the end of a file name. Now, I don't need this bit in here this time. And I can't use the name feature this time. And that is because if I added something to the end of this, it would add it on, but after the file extension. The file extension is what tells Windows what kind of file it is. So instead, I need to use base name, and then I'm going to add, let's say, dash example in quotation marks to the end of this. Then I'm going to add a dollar sign, underscore dot extension. And now what this is telling it to do is to add example onto the end of every single file name, but before the extension. So now if I press enter, it adds example onto the end of each of the file names. Now there are lots of different things that PowerShell can do when it comes to renaming files. I'm just showing a few examples here but I have shown how to replace something in a file name with something else, how to remove something from a file name, how to add something to the beginning of a file name, and how to add something to the end of a file name. That should cover the vast majority of what most people need to be able to do when it comes to renaming multiple files. Now, if PowerShell seems a bit complicated to you, I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing some other methods of renaming files. So the next method I'm going to show involves coming up to the bar here and deleting all of this and typing CMD and then enter. And this opens up the Windows command prompt which is quite similar to the Windows PowerShell in a lot of different ways, and it can be used in a similar way to rename files. So I'm gonna type here, rename, and then in quotation marks, I'm going to type Taiwan and dash, and then I'm gonna put a star in here, and the star is a wild card and can represent anything, and then I'm gonna close the quotation marks and then put a space, and then open them up again and type Taiwan space wildcard and then close quotation marks. And then when I press enter, this should rename all of the files. So the Taiwan has now changed to a lowercase t. And in addition to that, the dash here has been changed to a space. So I've renamed all of the files that had Taiwan in them with this instead. Now I can also do an REN, which is very similar to the rename feature. These uh, two features, rename and REN, can be used pretty much interchangeably, at least at this level. And this time I'm going to take Taiwan space star and I am going to to remove this. And I'm going to do that by typing lots of slashes. Now I need to make sure the number of slashes is the same as the number of characters. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the space, and then the star again, 
and then close quotation marks. And this is going to remove the word Taiwan and the space from the beginning of all of my file names. The slashes more or less just sort of fade into nothingness. And now the next thing I'm going to show is REN and then I'm going to change everything with a 2015 in it to a 2016. And this can be useful if you've accidentally put in the wrong year or you want to make copies of lots of your files but you want to update them for a new year. So now when I press enter, those all of the files have now changed to 2016. Now another feature in Windows Command Prompt is to type a four and then a percentage sign and a and then in and then in brackets star dot star close brackets do ren so basically what this is saying is the percentage sign and the a are in this case representing all of the file names in this file and it's saying for every single file name that matches these features. So the star dot star pretty much says to take all of the files because it represents everything. So for all of the file names, do a ren. So do a rename, rename all of the files. And I'm going to do the percentage sign A in quotation marks. So I'm taking all of the file names and I'm going to add a prefix to it. So it's taking all of the file names and it's adding a prefix to the percentage sign A. And then when I press enter, because it's a for loop, it's going to scroll through each of the files in turn, which is why they all pop up like that. But you can see up here, it's now added prefix to all of my file names. Now, uh, Windows command prompt, just like PowerShell, has a lot of different options when it comes to renaming files, and I'm just showing a few examples here. And in general, Windows PowerShell is more powerful than Windows command prompt. Now, there's just a couple more things that I wanted to show you. There's actually a couple of useful features within the Windows File Explorer for renaming files. So if I select this file here and press F2 to rename it, I can rename it example, and then instead of pressing enter, I can press tab, and it will move me along to the next file in the list. And I can rename this one, and then press tab, and then rename the next one, and press tab. And you can see that this is a slightly quicker way of manually renaming files in Windows. Now, another way of doing this is to press Control A to select all of the files, and then press F2 and rename the first file and then press enter and it will rename all of the other files as well. So the first file is Taiwan and then in brackets it has a one and then in brackets a two and then a three etc. So this is useful if you want all of your files to have almost exactly the same name. Okay and that is it.